Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Friday, 10th of March 2023. These trades were shared by MG, who is trading Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you see, his one hour macro chart is in downtrend and gaining momentum. This downtrend was seen in five minutes. A structural chart also has a downtrend, and this wave was taken with two trades. When the pullback got completed, the first one was here, the entry, and the second wave was here. When the pullback got completed, he entered here and exit here. And you can see that both trades were closed with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you, MG, for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by AP, who's trading Euro USD. You see that in the 30 minute time frame, which is the macro, we have a downtrend that started to form. And with the five minute chart, you can see the channel of downtrend clearly. So he waited for some pullback to be completed and used a one minute trading chart. After completion of pullback, based on algo one to five, he entered three positions here and now is managing the trade. And you can see the live video, two positions were closed and the other were trailed to close with profit. So thank you AP for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Castro, our global instructor, who's trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFT. And you see five minute chart that there is a downtrend channel formed and the pullback got completed. So I entered one position here with very tight stop loss and very good risk to reward ratio that is getting close to the target. So thank you Castro for sharing your trade with us. The next few trades are those I have taken at the beginning of New York market session and the video was sent yesterday to students with explanation. So I'm going to replay the video for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades I have taken at the beginning of New York market session on Friday, 10th of March, 2023. These trades were taken on Nasdaq and Russell futures. As you see, the market on a daily uh, was down yesterday and today continued to go down. And you can see that on a daily chart of S&P 500, all E-minis, NASDAQ and Russell very clearly. And so if we go to hourly chart of the macro and see a structure, the price went all the way during the global session and New York market also to this low level that was tested around the beginning of March, the market was this low. So we can see that it went down. This is hourly chart and tested this level and around 11,850, got rejected. And you can see that better in five minute charts. So this downtrend that started here went all the way to this level. So when the market opened, it was going down on this candle and this candle. So I took short position on this channel because the macro and the structure and trading charts were aligned. And when it reached this level and the buyers came back and you can see from price action and order for low that we reached this level that was previous low and also here low that was the lowest since last few months and the buyers came back so i took long positions and therefore these candles were traded as a channel of long position in here at this area, one minute chart, you can see them better in 10 second trading chart that this are long position was taken. Also took this long position around 10 o'clock on the Russell and uh, each of these trades were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex fund trading accounts. And uh, you can see the result now. So the average profit factor from all these trades were shown here 29 and that's very high because we had about 100% win rate from the long side.
that with the short side became 87% on average and average win to loss ratio was very high it was around 3.69 so three times more uh, profit on average uh, from losing trades and the largest winning and losing trades were shown here the largest winning was 240 which was runner but the losses were very small only 29 dollars so the total drawdown of all these uh, trades were very very low and as you know the price action can be used to trade any time frame and style of trading and uh, so i'm using for the fastest scalping and it works very well I uh, hope uh, these trades are useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.